So here we go, the former two-division champion, Daniel Cormier. Who can forget what he accomplished in 2018? Arguably the best calendar year that any fighter has ever put together. And we see Max Strong here tonight in the Hall of Fame to get back in the octagon tonight. It started in Boston. I believe the highlight of that year was in July in Las Vegas when I beat Steve Miocic. It was a night that you never could have imagined. Goes out there and gets the first round finish. This guy has all the skills in a heavyweight. He possesses the power that he may not have had at light heavyweight. A tremendous, well-rounded mixed martial artist in a UFC Hall of Famer. And the only thing that has eluded this athlete, Daniel Cormier, of course, in his athletic endeavors, the Olympic gold. But how about the mixed martial arts success? Eight UFC title belts and a whole lot more. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity of the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, set to fight DC, Daniel Cormier. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Right on the button. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Straight right is there. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Oh, and another nice combination. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. 
Big right hand. Nice straight right hand. He's worse. Oh, what a punch. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, nice. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. It's work. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Cormier gets caught by the inside leg kick. Big shot on the feet. Back to his feet. Final seconds here. next. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told them that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the hit, getting his fist to the target Ready. in that round. All right, second round underway. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's take it off. Lee's shot is down. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. This is crazy. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Effective use of the jab there by Cormier. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. He's hurt bad. Oh, huge spinning kick. under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by DC. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Lands a nice leg kick. Another leg kick lands. Effective jab there by Cormier. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Under a minute to go. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Let's 
work. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high oh. fight IQ oh. following a game plan and it's working. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't great. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, yeah, right hand. Nice jab by Lee. Oh, he's in trouble. It's work, guys. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. There's that body shot. Man, is his chin been tested early. Oh, big left hook there. Cormier gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, he's out of there! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Use your defense and get out of there! Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. We're winning here. Under a minute now to go. Unable to connect there. He's oh, okay. yeah. Back to his feet. Classify that as saved by the belt. It's fine. You've been here before. You just got clipped. I need you to go out there and I need... All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice jab by DC. Oh, 
Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Cormier's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. To the body and it lands. We march on three minutes to go. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh! Oh, he's done bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Superman punch lands! Oh, nice jab there by Cormier. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. This work. Missed with that attempt. Lee's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel D.C. All right, so just the way he drew it up with his kids in the building, Daniel Cormier by knockout tonight. I, I mean, I knew it, John. I mean, I have dynamite in my hands, huh. and if I'm able to land, you go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened.